Hello and welcome back to our channel. As you guys know, vehicle automation is a priority for us. So let us get into some new updates about full self-driving options in Tesla models. Tesla full self-driving. People say that Tesla looks like a pretty good electric car and it has got an amazing self-driving. Let's go and get one. Hold your horses while we explain what their self-driving really does, how to get it and what it costs. Now, Tesla calls its technology full self-driving as a trading name. And that is pretty insolent. A small group of private citizens, no more than a numberless thousand at most, have before been testing the system for nearly a spell, and the videotapes they have posted on social media of Teslas striving to drive themselves through the marketplace have taken both guarded praise and derision. Tesla has been criticized for not getting leave from the backpackers, cyclists and other motorists who participate in the past with the machines testing full constitution driving. Tesla motorists will have to make a seclusion trade. Motorists who want early access to the technology must agree to allow Tesla to collect data on their driving style and judge it. Tesla claimed in 2016 that all of its new vehicles had the capability for full character driving and that it would soon offer the correlative software to make the automobiles drive themselves. As we talk about full self-driving, in reality, it is not full self-driving. Now, as of this July 2021, Tesla's full self-driving is far from it. It is level 2 driver assistance that's on a scale of 0 to 5 levels. Those who are defined by the same, it is the Global Consortium of Automotive Engineers and is the holder of the standards of many technologies that go into cars. Now, level 2 means you have got several systems working together. In the Tesla case, one that maintains speed with acceleration and braking, one that maintains the distance to the car ahead or detects a pedestrian and makes sure it does not hit that individual or car, another one that keeps you in your lane and gradually steers around them on the freeway, and another that lets you turn a signal and that will tell the car to make a lane change. These are all impressive, but they are not particularly singular to Tesla. General Motors have offered this on Super Cruise before Tesla and have kept pace with the Tesla innovations and refinements. So you guys need to realize that Tesla is full self-driving. There is not this thing that's apart from the rest of the industry. In its abilities, it is just not the case. It is only a part of the cheekiness of the name. Level 2 requires you to maintain full mental awareness and attention on driving, and that is critical. There is a bright line there, and even that is a critical thing to know. Today's driver automation technology can only save you muscle effort, not a mental effort, at least if you're using it properly. We focus on this because Tesla's use of the term full self-driving reminds us that words matter, and words really do matter here. In a field of automotive technology where being sober and accurate is exceedingly important, if we want car buyers, insurers and regulators all to embrace, sign off and support this technology, which is quite essential, vast societal benefits accrue to the development and adoption of true autonomy down the road. But we need to slow that progress, not advance it by over-promising and over-marketing what we have available today. Tesla has this activated software that would unlock full self-driving using hardware that's already in the car. It is kind of like a software unlock. Maybe you might buy a basic version of a program and then if you want the pro version you pay a fee and it unlocks features. They were already on your machine but it just wasn't allowing you to use that code. But in this case you are accessing code and hardware in the car, you just have to pay to do so. Rather quietly, Tesla announced that every Tesla model that was going to be shipped will include full self-driving from 2016 or 2017. Apparently, that is not quite the case. There is a hardware upgrade that many owners of current models are going to have to pony up for $150 additional dollars to get the full self-driving to unlock to work. So, Tesla full self-driving is not full self-driving. It is level 2 automation, and it is very much common with a few other automakers who have got similarly ambitious systems. The future of personal vehicles will have some of the professionally optimized, efficient operations of public transport, combined with the flexibility of personal transportation that's always ready to solve our needs at a moment's notice. That is the focus for tomorrow. To get there, we do need automation, whether it is ever going to be level 5 or maybe it could be days away. Thank you for watching the video. To know more, stay tuned. Just go and subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to press the bell icon. If you liked our video, then share it with your friends and relatives too.